So let's move on to this new question. So find all the values of x in the interval of 0 to 180, which satisfy this equation. Okay. So here we have what we have sine 3x plus 2 cos 3x equal to 0. Now, as always, uh, whenever we have sine x or cos x, because the angle here is the same, 3x and 3x, whenever we have cos and sine in the same equation, we divide by cos. So here we have 3x, so that will be cos 3x. So you will have what? Let's see. So sine 3x divided by cos 3x, you will have sine over cos, that will be tan 3x, right? And here we have 2 cos 3x divided by cos 3x, that will be 1, equal to 0. So tan 3x equal to minus 2. Now you can see that here we have a negative value, so we have to use the quadrants. So when tan, so this is A, S, T, C, right? Now, when tan is negative, it will be in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. That makes sense. Now, because here it is negative, I will proceed uh, by the other way. I cannot find the value directly. Now, we'll have to call this, let's first find the value of theta. Theta will be tan inverse of the positive value that we have over here. Now again, theta is not a real angle. It is just a prop that I'm using right now to help me eventually find the correct angle. I only do this because it is negative. I don't like to proceed directly. That is my personal preference in this case. So theta will be what? So here we have to use degrees. Tan inverse of 2. That will be 63.4. So this will be in the this is the value in the, so usually when it is positive. However, by observing on the diagram, you can see you have to be this angle. This is what, 180 minus theta. And this have to be 360 minus theta. Okay, so finally, the value of 3x, according to the quadrants, have to be first is 180 minus 63.4 or 360 minus 63.4. So 180 minus 63.4, that will be 116.6. And 360 minus 63.4, that will be 296.6. Now, so right now we have what? Right now we have 3x is equal to 116.6 and 296.6. Now, because here we have 3x, we can try and see what other angles do we have. Now again, the number in front of x is just means, it means usually means the revolutions. So let's check and see if we have any possible values. Right. So we have to add 360 to this one and 360 to this one. So the reason why we do this is because we don't want to miss any values that are possible, that are, that are also available for our equation. Because usually, for four marks, they will give you a few marks for these values. And sometimes we may have other values as well, which is also eligible for our answers. Let's check. So 116.6 plus 360, that will be 476.6. 296.6 plus 360, that will be 656.6. Now, Another way to look at this is, let's go have a look at the interval. So we know the interval is, x have to be between 0 and 180, right? But here we have 3x, so 3x have to be between what? 0, and then 180 times 3, that will be 540. Okay, so now we can, we can already see which one is too much. So here we have 3x, so this is okay. Okay, okay, but this is too much, so we don't need this one. So finally, x have to be 116.6 divided by 3, that will be 38.9. 296.6 divided by 3, that will be 98.9. And then 476.6 divided by 3, that should be 
0.9 degrees. Again, degrees, we always try to write them correct to one decimal place. I guess the only part that is kind of interesting here is this. Whenever we have a negative value, we have to know where is the angle going to be found, right? That's the first thing. And then because I have negative here, I will first try to find the props angle, which is not the real value yet. It is just helps me out to find the real value of, of 3x we have here. And then eventually proceed one by one to find all the possible values that are eligible for your answer. In the end, you'll end up with these three values. And this is a question relating to trigonometry.